Are we filming? Yes? Okay. Well, hi, I'm Jessica Patterson of Spinning Shadow Arts, and this is a Akka spindle. This is what I'm going to be talking about today on our spindle talk. Um, someone asked me in a previous video, can you spin cotton with a drop spindle? And the answer is absolutely yes. Um, the Akka tribe of, um, oh, I forget where, I think it's Thailand, or something, but anyway, I'll, look, I'll put that in the description. Anyway, the Akka tribe uh, uses this kind of spindle to spin cotton. That's what they do. Um, so I thought it'd be cool to show you. I absolutely love this spindle. This is from Straddle Creek Spins on Etsy. I'll leave a link in the description below. And as you can see, it is beautifully turned, um, just with a delicate shaft turned down to this point here. A whorl in the middle. This helps it to spin fast and long, which is perfect for cotton or fine spinning. And it comes up to this um, hand bent hook, copper, I believe. And it's been dyed in um, purple, green, and blue. Um, I believe this is called the Radiance um, Collection that is this particular color for Straddle Creek Spins. Anyway, so for this demonstration, I have a, some hand-rolled punies. These I used uh, dog brushes and um, some chopsticks to roll into little tiny um, rolls. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. Tacos? Um, little, little bitty doll tacos. So anyway, I don't recommend eating these. So I'm going to show... Um, spinning, starting with one of these, and then from the Woolery, which is probably going to be your source for getting cotton, I have this big old bag of Egyptian cotton. I will show spinning this as well. So you can see both um, a rolled format and a roving format of spinning. So hopefully this will turn out. <laughs> I don't drop my spindle, which I am prone to, especially when spinning cotton. So anyway, um, to start out, I'll draft out a little bit and hook it with my hook here and give it a twist. Now one of the things about spinning cotton is it has a very, very short staple. Um, this means the fiber lengths are not long at all. And um, it's, you're spinning it I'm going to be spinning it very short lengths at a time. And um, it's spun sort of using long draw. Uh, so I'll start the spindle and I'll use the twist to um, capture and uh, you know hold those fibers. If I use a, um, a drafting like a forward draw or, you know, something like that, I'm more liable to lose my spindle to the floor. So, there we go. Got a nice long yarn here, thread, whatever you want to call it. And if the cameraman would look up at the drafting, <laughs> we'll show you what my hands are doing and not the spindle. But first, let me uh, get this locked onto the spindle itself. But as you can see, I've already got a decent length. I'm not going for super fine um, right now because I don't want to drop my spindle. I'm not the greatest cotton spinner. And um, it doesn't have to be fine. Um, it's just, I believe this is about the weight that it, that it would be spun by the Aka. He'll try, anyway, here we go. So I get it spinning. And I just let that twist in and draft out. I'm letting the twist do most of the work for me. Uh, I'm not holding on very tight. And once I get it to a point, I'll introduce a little more to lock that in. But as you can see, I'm just not drafting out very much at a time and letting the twist get at it um, before I go too much further. And that way, I'm not worried about losing my spindle and, or, you know, having to rejoin it. 
So I've almost got this roll lag. Um, it's fun. It's probably going to be a yard or two of yarn or thread. What do you call cotton that's not being spun absolutely thin? Do you call it yarn or do you call it thread? I just, I want to call it both. I guess it's technically yarn. But anyway. So yeah, that's just, um, for cotton spinning, it's letting your twist, whether you're doing it with a uh, tackley or a um, chakra, a charka, book charka, or, you know, um, or this Tibetan, or this Akka, it's letting the twist do the work for you. It's how you do a lot of short stapled fibers is um, just let the twist take it. Um, and not going too fast. Um, as you can see, I'm not making a huge length at a time when, when I'm drafting. It's just going very slow, um, which is fine, you know. Cotton takes a little more twist and um, patience, at least for me. I am primarily a wool spinner, so. As you, you could probably do this with a correctly weighted top or bottom whorl spindle, but I like how this, um, how the Akka spins. It spins fast for a while, and it's the perfect weight, so I prefer this if I'm going to drop spin cotton. So there we go. That was the Rolag that I, um, I took it off the cotton seed. I took the cotton off of it, and I, um, uh, carded it with a couple of dog combs and or dog brushes, pet brushes, and then rolled it up with I think some chopsticks, and that worked really well. So now I'll show you um, spinning the uh, the roving or sliver. And just give me just a minute to get that set up because this is a whole big bag of stuff. And I only want a little bit, so we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I decided to just uh, take a length from the bag itself and have it here. So I'm going to show you um, joining, hopefully successfully, without dropping the spindle. Um, let's see. I'll give it a spin and draft and let the... And free end of the cotton wrap around. Okay. There we go. We are successfully joined. Yes. Anyway, so here's spinning the uh, um, silver or roving. Um, it's a little bit trickier, I think, than the um, Rolex, but also I believe I feel like it can be spun um, finer uh, uh, at a finer. Um, oh, my brain is so gone today. Uh, what do you call that? Anyway, I believe it can be spun finer than, um, uh, easily, more easily than poonies. But anyway, it's, I'm still, I'm trying to still do the same. I just let the, um, uh, twist take it and, uh, just keep not get too overly focused. One of the things I found that hindered me a lot in spinning cotton, and I'm still trying to get over, is trying to make the perfect thread. Um, and I have that problem with uh, wool spinning as well. Um, so when learning, I really recommend just, you know, if it sticks together, you know, don't worry about perfection. Um, it's It'll still be usable either way. You can always make something out of a thread or yarn that is not perfect. And um, it'll just be uniquely yours. Um, so if you're thinking about diving into cotton spinning, just be aware it's a little bit tricky and different, for sure. But it's also very rewarding because a lot of things are made with cotton. and. Uh, like if you want to make dish towels or 
you know, rugs <laughs> or something of the sort, or if you're like really ambitious and you spend a ton of cotton, um, then you can make a shirt. <laughs> so it's just, I really recommend just giving it a try. I do also recommend trying out the Straddle Creek Spins Aka, even if you are a primarily wool spinner, because this spindle is just fun to spin with. And they look pretty too. I like Strato Creek spin spindles just because they're beautiful. They're beautifully turned and I love how they're dyed. Um, you know, somehow dyeing spindles just look so much prettier than painting in some respects. I do paint spindles so I like, I like painting as well. So anyway, what do you think of the Aka spindle? Isn't it just cool? Um, let me know in the comments below and um, hit that like button if you liked this video and hit subscribe if you aren't already. Um, I will leave links in the description to um, Straddle Creek Spins and the Woolery for where you can get this cotton and um, they also sell I believe the cotton seeds so you can make your own poonies if you feel so inclined. It's definitely a rewarding experience trying out new things and um, stay tuned for more. Definitely have more spindle videos, spinning, weaving, and all sorts of fun because I absolutely love fiber arts and I love to share it with you too. As always, have a great day.